Now, demonstrators in Uganda dropped piglets to State House in Kampala uh, to show disapproval of the recently announced presidential results that saw President Museveni extend his 30 year rule. Miles away at opposition leader Dr. Kiza Bissiger's home in Kasangati, journalists were detained while covering the protest by a group of youth. Katie and Solomon Sarwanje reports from the capital, Kampala. You could call it a day of political drama in Uganda as pressure continues to mount on the Electoral Commission with a section of the public challenging the results from the recently concluded elections. On Monday, a group of youth who only identified themselves as the Jobless Brotherhood dropped piglets at the gate of State House in Nakasero. The pigs were dressed in yellow, which is the color for the National Resistance Movement Party, headed by President Jerry Museveni, were quickly picked up by the police and the Special Forces Command, which manages the president's security. The Jobless Brotherhood are challenging the results from the recently concluded elections, which saw Museveni announced as the winner. <laughs> Meanwhile, about 10 kilometers from the capital Kampala in Kasangati, the home of key opposition leader Dr. Kiza Besije, Another demonstration by youth who turned up to challenge the deployment of police officers with dummies of missiles and other weapons. They were, however, blocked and chased by police officers who also failed to capture them. While the media was busy on the other side capturing the drama, the police were not amused by the experience. For them to avoid any further embarrassment, the police arrested journalists who had camped at Dr. Kiza Besige's home, including NBS's television journalist Elijah Priyagmanawe, who was arrested while reporting live about the events at Besige's home. Uh, be, being, uh, being, uh, trying serving the, the serving uh, like capturing that just like you can see the situation here uh, all our viewers and nbs we've been put on uh, we've been put on the police pickup uh, and, and police has not given any uh, any standing reason as to why journalists should be treated this way as why journalists should be just what they were briefly detained by police and later released with a caution not to return to dr besige's home dr besige was once again arrested by police and taken to an unknown location Besage's preventive arrest has made it difficult for him to meet his lawyers and to file a petition at the Supreme Court if he's to challenge the results in the courts of law. Tuesday, March 1st, is the deadline to file any such petitions. You, it would be unthinkable. Nobody can imagine that under such circumstances you can lodge a petition. How? Petition means you interface with your people, there are affidavits to be sworn, there are documents to be signed, there are lawyers to be briefed, there are instructions to be given. In the present circumstances and the provisions of the law that give only 10 days, this government has made it practically impossible. Meanwhile, former Prime Minister John Patrick Amama Mbabazi's lawyers are expected to file a petition in the Supreme Court tomorrow challenging the results before the lapse of the deadline. Solomon Serwanja, KTN News, Kampala, Uganda.